Good morning. Welcome to Novice Quadcopters. Today I'm, is day two of the stock test of the Hubson H502S. Um, issues that people are having is uh, the distances horizontally straight out are inconsistent as well as the maximum altitude. Yesterday I was out here and I did a maximum altitude test to see how high this bird could go and to be honest, I wasn't really happy. I only got to 75 meters before FPV started going out and at about 80 meters, FPV was gone and lost control, went into return home mode. Also, off in a distance there from where I'm walking now is about 125 meters. I tried to do a horizontal distance test in that direction yesterday and to my disappointment again, also, there was a um, distance of 50 to 60 meters before FPV went out and lost control at about 65. Now, I just spoke with someone on the Hubson H501S slash H502S Facebook page and he was telling me that his stock version got 234 meters before all of this started happening. Now, my issue is if mine is doing less than half of that, um, there definitely has to be some type of quality control issue. So I'm going to do another test again today with the Hubson H502S. The controller is, um, as you see, not modded. And we're going to try and do another maximum altitude test. I'll let you know what the results were. Test 2 on day 2 of the Hubson H502S maximum altitude test. Yesterday I mentioned I only got about 75 meters up before FPV started going out and at about 80 meters I lost control and it went to return to home mode. So today we're going to try a maximum altitude test again and see what happens. If I get the same results so they vary. GPS seems fine. Let's take it up. Once again, I forgot to start video. Video has started now, and we're at 16 meters. thirty five meters up FPV seems fine let's move it forward some more GPS seems to be holding fine and we are at sixty meters sixty five meters actually and it seems fine let me See if I can take her up to 70. There's 74, 75 meters. And today, surprisingly, I still have FPV. I am um, under the impression that the KP index does mean something because it was four yesterday and today it's only two. So, I'm going to move her forward where I can see her some more and let's see if I can take it up to, let's turn back to this area, let's see if I can take it up to 80, alright she just blinked, at 85, 86 meters up, I still have FPV but she's starting to blink out, okay that's not too bad. 88 meters, I guess because of the wind she's fluctuating, but as you can see Seems to be doing fine Let me see I almost lost her in the air. Okay, I'm gonna hit return home. That's definitely better I'm at 90 meters now and FPV seems to be fine once again 
maybe it isn't a quality control issue and maybe it has something to do with the KP index, which has to do with the electrical, electrical magnetic force is that the earth gives off. I just put her in return to home mode and I see her turning around and flying back this way. She's still at 90 meters. She's at 90 meters now. If you can see on here. And I hear her. Oh, there she is. She's dropping. 87, 85. I don't know if you can see that on the screen. But she is coming down. I have to bring this up to, to Shally Lou. And um, on the Facebook page, the H501S slash H502S Facebook page, and mention to her, a lot of people are complaining about dramatic distances. Yesterday, it was less wind. We're at 50 meters. There was less wind, and I couldn't go past 75. Today, I made it to 90, and FPV seems to be fine. Um, this little strip of land there where they play cricket is where she took off from. She'll probably vary within a few feet, but this is actually good news. We're at 28 meters and she's coming down by herself. Let's see if I can get in the view here so when she lands. Yeah, there we go. All right, not bad. Not bad. I feel a little better now. But someone was saying that the KP index has nothing to do with your drones. And I honestly believe the KP index, which um, is a, how would you say, a measurement for the electromagnetic forces that the Earth gives off randomly and spontaneously in places. Um, like I said yesterday, UAV forecast said that it was four. And today it's actually one or two. So, that might have a lot to do with it. I'm going to try and do the distance test also now. That ends test two, day two. A maximum horizontal distance test for the Hubson H502S. Yesterday I was only able to get out to about 50 or 60 yards, meters, correction. And um, I was really upset considering one person told me they hit 234. Another one says their FPV drops out at 100. But I did get a better altitude test today, so I'm going to test it now and see if I get a better horizontal test today as well. It's in GPS mode. Record on. Wind is a little shaky. All right. Let's push her forward and see how far she goes. FPV seems fine. She drifted a little. Um, seems fine at 49 meters. Now yesterday, it was starting to go out at this distance, but now I have the rem remote aim straight at the drone and she seems to be fine so I'm going to keep pushing to those bushes those bushes in the distance over there are about 125 meters from me I couldn't get this distance before and I see I'm at 80 meters and she seems to be fine 93 she's going out some but I definitely getting better distance Okay. Let's see. Turn around. All right. We seem to have lost it at 80. Like I was saying, FPV is going out at that distance. That's not cool.
definitely not happy. Now I'm coming back. I'm at 43 meters. Of course, it's facing away from me, but... I'm not really happy with that distance. Seriously. That is a major issue for me. And we're going to have to see... Um, what can be done about that? Is there some kind of firmware update? And as to why we're having such distance discrepancies with these drones. I mean, I'm hearing that this same size drone that I'm flying right now is, uh, can go 200 meters. Shally Lou on the Facebook page said it can go 200 meters and I haven't gotten it to 100 before FPV goes out. So that might be an issue. Seriously. That might be a real issue as far as hubs and products. They need to make sure that their stuff does what it's supposed to do. Not 50 of their quads going out and doing what it, they're supposed to. And then all of a sudden the next 50 like this one here, don't do it. That's very discerning. I do like Hubson products. I'm not saying nothing bad about them, but they need to check their quality assurance and, and see where on the assembly line these issues are ha happening. Seriously. After conducting two days of tests, maximum altitude test and a maximum horizontal test in this park here, uh, I've come to the conclusion that hubs and products, you guys need to start checking your drones. This same drone is reported by Shally Lou on the Hubson I am H501 slash H502S page, their Facebook page. And um, she was quoted as saying this drone here can do 200 meters. And the first day I took her out, she went 50 meters, FPV dropped out, and it went into return to home mode. Um, but that dude is running. I was only able to go about that far, pretty much. And um, that's not good. Andy RC says that um, his seems to have a limit of 100 meters. So if it has a range of 200 meters, even if radio, not FPV, even if radio has a range of 200 meters, um, why are people losing control at different distances? Today, my maximum altitude test that I did, in comparison to yesterday, I was only able to go the 60, between 60 and 80 meters before, it, no, 60 and 65 meters, I'm sorry, before it went out. Today, I actually went up to about 85, 90 meters. Um, Hubson, quality control, stop sending out 100 good drones and 100 bad drones. Have somebody check these things on the line. They're also having issues with the Hubson H501S. The same thing, different distances. Um, guys, we like your products. We like your drones. You have to check quality assurance and um, make sure we can fly around in areas like that. You know, this is a great park to fly in. I have to bring my SEMA out here later just to just to enjoy some real flying because I wasn't able to get too far with this Hubson H502S. Anyway, if you feel the same way, leave a comment. If you don't feel the same way, let me know if you own one, what distances that you're getting.